Hello Capricorn, welcome back to your monthly zodiac greetings. I trust you're okay and that you are looking forward to the month of June. Um, because of the fact that we're having so many planets in retrograde during the month of June and we're having several eclipses, I thought I'd take a look at each sign and see what cards are going to be coming up for them, what energies are going to help them or hinder them as they move through the month of June. I'm also going to pull some other supportive cards just in case you need them and um, let's take a look and see what's happening. With you Capricorn, I know that you have Saturn in your sign. It's probably in and out of your sign. I'm not exactly sure if it has moved into Aquarius or or where it is right now. All I know is that I think it's in retrograde. But you also have Pluto in your sign. So for you, you have the double card and the tower card. So you have a lot of things that are happening in your life at this time, Capricorn. The double card, I believe, represents your sign. So it's about excesses. It's about negative thinking or um, having relationships with people that, that hold you down or tie you up to something that's negative. You also have the tower, which represents destruction of things it represents epiphanies of things so you're either going to get a really good idea or some epiphany that happens regarding relationships or regarding some of your habits or some of your temptations or some of your addictions as to where they came from how is it that you are doing these things or why is are these things happening to you um and you're going to be able to overcome them because the devil comes up. It's part of your ego. So you're learning about your dark side, your ego personality. So you're going to overcome a lot of things because of the epiphanies that are happening. You, it could be a relationship that you're leaving that's become very toxic to you. So the house move is, you know, right there. The next step that you're going to have to take after this month uh, passes because you're going to see that you no longer can deal with the toxicity of the relationship or where it's going into the future whether it's addictions or negative negativity or just too much control that your partner wants to have over you or you over them and you're starting to realize these things can't just go on anymore so you're saying adios or you're parting in an amicable way it may be painful but it's still necessary and for some of you you're just learning how to overcome your ego and you're getting great ideas as to why things have happened in your life the way that they've happened and uh, you've come full circle and you're learning them now in a different way and you're getting away from some of this uh, negativity and toxic energy that has kept you enslaved for a very long time our egos are something that are very hard to deal with sometimes and to overcome them and to overcome the egos of other people is just super difficult sometimes you, the only choice you have is to leave a lot of people have been getting the tower card so don't be don't be ashamed or don't be afraid um you got the ace of cups and the seven of coins so you're going to be looking at everything that you have built up up to now and whether you want to commit to continuing in the same relationship or in this down the same path that you have been uh, going all of this time but then you fall in love with something either something happens to bring new love into your life or you decide on going within and loving yourself and following a completely different path and you fall in love with it because you have the peace of the white dove that comes to you so you're speaking to the universe the higher power is speaking to you and helping you overcome this ego overcome the toxicity of the past or of other relationships that kept you enslaved um, the house move or just the epiphanies that you're going to get are going to be supreme and they come from a higher place. So you're going to learn a lot of things. You're going to see where you are up to now and whether you're going to continue doing what you're doing or you're going to completely change into something that, that you truly love in a, and go in a, in a completely different direction than what you've been doing up to now. Spread your wings and fly. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. So the new ideas that you're getting, this new path that you're going to love and, and embark on, don't hold back. You're being advised to keep moving forward because all of that is happening due to a higher power that's helping, shoving you moving forward so that you 
continue on something that makes you happier than where you've been up to now. So don't disregard your thoughts, your, your, your intuition at this time. The Luna. The Luna is listening to your intuition. In this deck, it doesn't represent the same as the Tarot. In this deck, it's more of an auspicious card. More of a card where you're listening to your intuition and you're moving forward because it's helping you. It's helping you bring happiness into your life. Okay? Your spirituality is growing, in other words. So that is going to help you propel forward so you might fall in love with something that has to do with your spiritual self and 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 the new things that you are learning all right capricorn i hope you've enjoyed that have a wonderful uh, month and i'll talk to you again soon you could also have another capricorn that comes into your life to help you move forward to help you with the changes bye for now